So what I'm doing is I'm taking the dark purple and I'm rooting her a little bit with it. Um, because she's got, she, this is like her natural root, so she's pretty blonde. Um, she's like a natural level eight, level seven, probably like an ashy level seven. Um, so obviously purple will cover that. So I'm doing like a dark purple into like a fuchsia purple. And then I'm doing the yellows, um, separating the pinks, which I love. I think that to me looks so hot. What are you doing, Jenna? I am Focus. a pattern. I'm making a pattern, um, and then I'm just gonna follow it every section down. You can see it's just, I'm making a structure. She's doing um, the panels, remember, on the side. So she's, we're, those are gonna be our braided pieces coming back. Like, So she's keeping it very structured and paneled. I love that. It you looks good, Jenna. Lots of love. Thank you. We're getting Thank lots you. of love. Thank you. What do you guys think of these colors? Aren't they sick? So it's incredible. Aw. It's all Arctic Fox. Yeah, yes, it's all it Arctic is. Fox. Because they Aww. sponsored us this, this week, guys. They gave us all this color. And they were like, go wild. And we were like, oh my god, thank you so <laughs> much. Like, we love your color. Like, we literally are obsessed with Arctic Fox. I think it's one of my favorite colors, for sure. Um, I like the, the viscosity. I love the viscosity of it. It's like not as runny as Pravana, right? It's yeah. just a little bit thicker. Yeah. Like a slight bit thicker. So this is the, um, what is that one? The Neon Moon and this one is the what? Uh, the Cosmic Sunshine. Cosmic Sunshine. And this is awesome because I'm mixing it with that, that fuchsia -y, reddish color and it's turning into this really cool like yellow orange mixture and that's something we kind of talked about the last time we were on like you whenever you have your target shade so and you okay. mix the two together and you get that third like tertiary yes, shade I, I love, love that. that love the way that that comes out Steph says you guys are awesome oh thanks thank babes you. if you guys have any questions just feel free to ask about what we're doing or whatever what we want it to look like which might be different in about 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we get so many Europeans. Yeah, we do. I want to, you know what? I mean, they've got to have some hairdressers there doing this stuff. I know. I kind of want to, like, to we, link up. Yeah, I know. Like, we need to meet some people that are doing this stuff there. Or, or unless it's like, just us crazy Americans that are doing this. And as you can see, I have this section all... Um, separately and this is my top section so this is gonna be my blues and my greens so I'm gonna melt the same kind of way like this but I'm gonna melt with a different color palette so I'm gonna do my blues yellows and my blues I'm gonna do like the blue the dark blue and then the white and then I'm going to do the greens and the yellows so that is gonna be all on top of these fiery colors Oh, and make sure you guys are following us on um, Instagram under Hair Little Universe. Yeah, we too. we built an Instagram page for you guys, and um, once we get that off off and running, and we get that like going and get a big number of followers, we're gonna start doing contests. Yes. And I think that'll be awesome. I think that's gonna because be because then we're gonna be able to give you guys the opportunity. We'll we'll pick the picture, and you guys get to do like the inspiration and the interpretation. Perfect. So I was like, all right, uh, mission accomplished. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So this is going to be my blues and my greens up here. So I'm going to start on that. And I'm going to use MB Mesh, which I love. You guys like MB Mesh? Love it. Yes. And I'm going to separate this little section right here so we don't get any other color on it. Have you have you seen the L'Oreal ones? The mesh? Yeah. Really? You guys are inspiring. Yay! Oh, girl. You we we've inspiring. been watching you, girl. You've been blowing up, honey. Yes. You better get it, get it, get it, get it. All right. So I'm gonna start with my blues. But actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this up too, so I can. You got some hellos over here. I like the mesh I because um, you can just you can work on top of it like it's a clean start, you know. Yeah. So. You guys are going to like look and see me in the thinking process for a minute. So I am going to pull out the asking, color. Where did you get the mesh? Oh, you MB, MB mesh, mesh is online. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to that uh, online. It's just a way of keeping diversion out of the, you know, so that people aren't getting the, it in their hands that aren't supposed Personally to. and Jenna, we both see a lot of pink and yellow and a lot of blue and green together. 
so that was the kind of the whole idea behind like we're gonna melt these blues and these greens together and then the pinks and the yellows underneath and then jenna is working with these colors in here with the like blues the reds the yellows um and she's making that crown almost so that's what i'm thinking in my head right now at this point and then i'm gonna put that and use that as my white so you'll see how i do it i'll show you right now Look how smoky it is. It looks cool. So I'm going to do this so it covers that little routage area. And then I'm going to put the bright blue next to it. And then the center is going to be that white. So this is going to create that brightness and that, that contrast within the two colors, within the colors. It's actually one color, just different variations. And then I just keep my hands really super clean whenever I do this. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to like wipe your hands after every section. I, I like to use smaller brushes, like the paint, like actual paint brushes. These are just cheap ones that I got at Walmart um, from in the, like, the kids section. <laughs> yeah. And because they're a little bit thicker, and so they hold more product. Um, and then just really, really, really carefully following your pattern. So obviously, every section you bring down has to, you have to be able to see through it. And you have to be really careful about actually how you bring it down as well. Like when you place it, you know, it's very lightly put it down and then kind of slightly tap it into place. Um, and then just keep following the pattern. This looks sick. Yeah. Look at that. Let me see. All the white's coming out. Oh, that's beautiful. And now I'm like, yeah, I love it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this dark blue on the outside, just like that. Oh yeah, and reminder to self, before you do do any kind of patterning, make sure you don't drink too much coffee. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Because... Jenna's getting holy crazy shakes. Holy crap. I could probably be going a lot faster than this right now. if I. She's like, like focused. Oh, you know, just another day at the office. <laughs> you want to tell them? Look at our inspiration photo on, on, um, in on Parallel. Parallel Universe on our Instagram, Instagram. page. Then you'll see that <clears throat> the tiki hat and uh, the tiki face and each color within itself uh, are extremely separated from each other okay but within each color there's a blend you know so it blends from like dark blue into white into dark blue again and then from green dark green into like a yellow into out into a green again and then um so he's in charge of doing all the the flow of those colors between each other and he's doing it in two different hemispheres you know he's got the lower hemisphere is going to be all the purple pinks and yellows and the, t and the top hemisphere is going to be the blue and blue greens and yellows and so i'm doing a very structured um pattern on, on just two panels one on each side of the head so that uh because when our styling i'm gonna pull those out braid them and play with them um to make like a really pretty crown like a really abstract kind of crown of, of color going around the top of her head mixed in with all the flowy pretty like wow. that's, so that's gorgeous oh my god look at that that is beautiful. Steph says her hand said yes. Of yes. course she would. She loves that structure. I know she does. Yes. She's I love her. Just, I know. She's always good for a yes. Yeah. And if you, so go look at in Parallel Universe on Instagram and are, we posted our before picture or Not our inspiration before. picture. And so you can see how we're interpreting it. So that's what it's kind of, this show is all about. Really. Yeah, we, because we really want to... It's also like, how do those colors flow together? How do those colors contrast with each other? Is there structure? Is it all melted? You know, like there's a lot more than just doing um, a t interpretive color than just picking out those colors and putting them all on, you know? And that's what we want to so show. That's what we're trying to show. You can have fun in a completely different way. Um, it's definitely more challenging. It is.